Ah, you remember. So remember, guys, when we had it just as tangent, we could follow along with this pattern. But now we change this to squared, and we have a little bit something different going on. Now we basically have sine squared of x over cosine squared of x over x. But again, what do we want? We want that sine of x, right? We want sine of x over x, or 1 minus cosine of x over x. So again, we're basically going to do the same thing. Let's rewrite this as sine squared of x times um, 1 over cosine of x, cosine squared of x over x. Now the problem is here, when we go ahead and separate this, so we don't have anything for sine squared of x over x. So what we have to do is break this down one more time. So I'm going to rewrite the limit. Okay, and I'm going to say this is going to be sine of x times sine of x times. I could break apart the 1 minus cosine squared, but that's not really going to help us out. So let's leave it like that. Now, at least this way, we can say, OK. So let's group this together. We know that's going to go to 1. And if we plug a 0 in for cosine, Cosine again at 0 is going to be 1. Square that is 1. 1 divided by 1 is 1. But if we plug 0 in for this, 0 into sine of x, so the sine of 0 is, again, knowing the unit circle, right? So cosine is 1, so sine is going to be 0. So it's 0 times 1 times 1, which we know is just going to equal. Zero. Okay? But just make sure, guys, what we practiced last class period, make sure you guys can 